Okay, guys. Um, I I'm, I just want to say I'm a bit of a dick, so I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this fucking stupid piece of shit that is Super Dragon Ball Heroes because it's entertaining, but they don't realize how retarded it is, and I'm going to point out how stupid it is. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna start this. If I can can't hear it, then oops. But we've got a fucking whole hour of this, so hopefully, um, Toei won't fucking copyright my shit because it's an hour and a half of me making fun of their ridiculous show. Um, I watched a few episodes of this, and I haven't watched the entire thing, so... I haven't watched any enough. I haven't watched an hour is what I mean. I've only watched about like eight minutes, maybe fifteen minutes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that now. Hold on, let me just I'll be pausing every now and then because I'm gonna probably be commenting on some of the stupid stuff. I'm gonna comment on stuff I've already seen, obviously, and I'm gonna obviously comment on stuff I haven't seen yet. So let's begin. I guess. Already starting off badly because we're using that version of Trunks, so you've already you already screwed up. Episode one starts off with a promising ass end. So that's that's great. Already let's arc this. Let's let's make fun of this. <coughs> the animation's alright, I guess. And then no, okay. Now I gotta, I gotta say this. First of all, where's her fucking time machine? If that's apparently my. Two. Why is she here? And they just casually like, oh hey, how's it going, bye. How's it going? Long time no see. It's only been like a month, but how's it going? Oh, right. Whatever. Trunks is finished. Okay. In future times, he's supposed to be doing his stupid shit. And then fucking Kabuto shows up. Oh, my name is Kabuto. I'm friends with Trunks. Okay, I have to pause again. Because if he's apparently friends with Trunks, why didn't I say anything? Like, oh, maybe he's lying? Because I don't know who that is. Well, he's totally friends with Trunks or some shit, I guess. He's got messed up and something terrible, I guess. I don't really care, because I'm Kabuto, but... Prison planet. I'm pretty angry. They also made it out from the beginning that Fu was a very bad person, and I'm gonna keep calling him Kabuto. That's, that's first off. Because that's exactly who he is. And they hyped up that he is, like, he's already, they're already hyping up him up to be a bad guy. So I already don't like him. This is literally a cartoon episode. They just fucking teleport here, cause Goku apparently knows where the prison planet is, but whatever. Oh, that's awesome, it's, a, it's another Goku, so this is where we were hyping up. And I like this one already, because his costume looks nice. And he actually looks serious. And then he looks at Fu and is like, Alright, so that guy's obviously a bad guy, and you guys should probably not be nice to him. Also, before anyone says that Super Saiyan Blue is stronger than Super Saiyan 4, I want to point out, this entire match of Super Saiyan 4 has been without class in him, this entire match. He backed him up more than once. 
I don't want this guy to have to actually take him to fight the area for us. Hey, well, that stands for you. There are two go tos, and you both are obviously retarded. <laughs> the food is obviously stronger than the both of them since you just one hand successfully blast from Super Saiyan 4 Goku without caring. <laughs> So there you go guys, time patrol cannon now. <laughs> no, you're a good guy, but of course you're a good guy. You're me. Except I met a person who he wasn't gonna be my he was a bit of an asshole. Oh my body in <laughs> <laughs> no shit he lied to you, really? No, okay, so I see what they did. They were trying to make uh, a character who's just like Kabuto and then have a big reveal that, whoa, he's a bad guy, but it was obvious from the start that he was a bad guy, and because this entire series is rushed, he was only a bad guy for a few minutes. I mean, he was only a good guy for a few minutes, and then five seconds later they're like, hey, we're going to make him the bad guy because we want the story to progress. And because I know how to actually write stories, um, this is not a good idea, and he, you, you're really, they're really stupid for doing that. The writers are incompetent for that. You should also make the episodes longer if you really want to hype up your characters and your show. Then you don't have to make them be more super. You can just clean your book, and people will actually be enjoying it. And he's fucking smiling as if he's just like Kabuto. Because of course gathering the Dragon Balls is an entire thing. He's like, yeah, this. Like, okay, like, he held it out. I know the purpose of them holding it out was for newcomers to look at it and go, oh, well, we don't know what Dragon Balls are. Oh, that's a Dragon Ball. Um, if we're going by actual writing for the actual characters who you know, know what a Dragon Ball is, um, um, Super, you know Goku should not be showing him what the Dragon Ball is, like, whoa, I know what a Dragon Ball is, do you know what a Dragon Ball is? And then the other Goku's like, whoa, that's a Dragon Ball, like, no, that's not how, that's not how it works. You shouldn't do that. Sorry, for the speech, that is my bad. I hate this version of Trunks so very much. Everything about this version of Trunks makes me angry. Like, I can't see how people can defend this version of Trunks because he sucks. There's nothing about him that's good. Everything about him is trash. Akira Toriyama, what the hell? Cooler is by far the best part of this entire series so far because I like Cooler. And then to have him come out of nowhere and say, hey, I'm, I'm cooler than you, and I'm here to kick your ass, and, like, that's cool. 
Like, really? They just kind of... Okay. I, I like that character, but I don't like that character because he's really stupidly inconsistent. Um, they just came out of nowhere and were like, oh, well, see, we're going to hype up a character. His name is Evil Saiyan, like... And then when you actually hear his name, you're like, oh, yeah, that's... No, he's obviously a Saiyan. But, um... Oh, really? We're going to... He's an evil Saiyan, that's all you need to know. We're not going to give you any more information, except that he's an evil Saiyan, so that sucks. That's tough. <coughs> Masako. Okay, we're going to fast forward a little bit. Goku goes this way. <laughs> Whoa, the evil Saiyan's right. Oh. Alright, I've got some words right now about that, that right there. That's, that's, that's what's called bad pacing. When you hype up a character, and then in the next episode, you immediately show him off like he's the biggest thing ever, and he's the greatest threat. No, do what One Piece did. If you're going to hype up a character, hype him up in the background, and then wait a little while so before you actually show him doing stuff. You don't just drop him in the next episode, and there's no mystery, and people aren't care won't care enough to watch. That's not how you do a show. And then this, it doesn't help that your show's only like eight minutes each, so it really like you gotta you gotta add more episodes in there if you're gonna do that. I know the show. I shouldn't like nitpick this entire show. I know the show is only meant to be like a fun little exercise, a fun little little thing they wanted to do that doesn't really matter but it's annoying to see if you're a person who looks at it as a good writer anyone who knows I, my M team knows that I've been pacing pretty well I will however say I like his design a fan in a straight jacket is probably the coolest design for Dragon Ball the designs are nice the characters write it written, the written characters are not good. It's just, the, written, the writing is terrible. The writing is fucking awful. Who are evil saying you're the best? Uh, I'm not much of an asshole that I didn't even bother learning your name. And where did, where did Gino Goku go? Whoa, his power is so big and super girthy and really strong. My, you should probably go fuck yourself and not show up for the next 40 episodes because we don't like you and you're not really useful here. Whoa, he's so evil. They hype up how evil he is and then Goku just, I don't know, I'm not going to go through the same blue because obviously he's not strong anyway. Like I just said. And apparently touching him does that. Yeah, I'm evil now. You see, I'm going crazy. Is it just good writing? Don't you just want to see me fight Vegeta? And Vegeta's not even a question, though, really. If, and I gotta say, that's inconsistent for Vegeta, because if it was Vegeta from any of the mediums, he would have turned super saiyan blue and beat the crap out of Goku if Goku got to my time. And then one of them goes after mine! No one would have cared if she would have got killed. And then Trunks shows up and he's like, But why did you show up? Where did you come from, though? Trunks, where did you come from? Oh, I came out of the prison. Yeah, it's nice, but where is that? Oh, it's, it's, um, it, um, it's that way. Great, awesome. So we, we were literally going the wrong direction. Fuck you, Trunks. Fuck this entire show. Fuck this super fucking thing. And he can attack... Tumbo and no, he attacks to go to and fucking cooler shows up and he's like, Hey, I'm cooler, guys. I'm oh, sorry, cooler. Cooler. 
<laughs> well, his key touches people and makes people evil, evil, but Trunks is gonna do it later, and it's not even gonna, like... Dad, Cooler's on our side. Cooler, stop attacking the Vegeta. Don't be a dick. Uh, why is Goku black? Like his skin is suddenly dark for no reason. This is, he's become GT Goku. I brought your thing, your stupid looking sword. You, first hit, you said Freezer to pa Freezer to pass me by becoming gold? Well, guess what? I'm better than him because I'm platinum, even though we're both gold. They should have just went with the name Platinum Cooler instead of calling him Golden Cooler because people are going to make the joke Freezer did it first and it's not going to be cool, it's going to be lame. I'm going to go with Golden Cooler because Freezer did it. But I'm stronger than him because I'm in that other form too. I love inconsistencies, because if you're going to put Cooler in the show, and then say, well, he just trained and got stronger. You know, he trained and got stronger, and that's why he has that other form? Why doesn't Frieza have that other form? Because you're stupid, re really stupid inconsistent man. Really nice. Now then, <laughs> let's do our thing then. If he to kick the crap out of Goku, because he wants to. He's gonna kill Goku. This is reminiscent of that time I saved the thing in, in that one cooler movie. Don't you guys remember? On I saved the like. Okay. And Goku just kind of snaps out of it. That's stupid. All right. Goku, you're back to normal. <laughs> I'm always yeah, I'm so cool. Are you nice, Trunks? Like. I'm trying to stupid, why are you stupid looking muscles? Like, you look stupid. I like you guys. So I'm not gonna transform any more of you evil by just touching my aura. I'm just gonna kill you with my aura. So you yeah, are cool, I guess. I'm so I'm cool with you gotta be inconsistent. And I ripped my straight jacket. One of the coolest things about my design is he just ripped. So he Why is my still here? <laughs> Vegeta just kind of knows his name for no reason. Whoa, Patora! Because apparently, according to stupid ass Dragon Ball Super, um, Vegeta's, Vegito's got a friggin' time limit now, because they're not Kai's, no, inconsistency, they could've, if they were really gonna try and be good with their writing, because then they don't have to get rid of the time limit for Vegito, like, traditionally, they could just say, oh, well, he has a time limit because the god key gave him one, they could've just said that, they couldn't, know, but they decided to say, we're gonna, we're gonna say that Vegito has a time limit because he's not a Kai, and it's because we want to do our own stupid shit, and we're not very good with writing, and our writing is really shitty. And that's why people hate Dragon Ball Super. I'm gonna pretend it's because, like, my headcanon is that it's because of the god team, not their stupid ass time limit that they decided to come up with. Also, I guess, the reason, um... Tumbo didn't, never mind, I was gonna say Tumbo didn't turn Trunks into evil because he used the sword, but Trunks is not evil now, and he's holding him with his hand. His actual contact, and the show is really stupid. Oh, that's, my hair is really stupid too. Everybody ignore that. And Vegeta would never just go, oh, well, we got a fuse, dude, I'll totally agree with you on that. No, he would have struggled first. He would have yelled at Goku, I don't want to do this. And then Goku would have went, no dude, you gotta do this. I do like Vegeta's design in this outfit. This, like, this outfit looks nice to me.
but you just say it's the God key. Just say it's the God key, and that's all you have to say. And then we're gonna hype up the next episode! The mightiest radiance, okay. Vegito Blue, Vegito Blue blows his load, I guess. I don't fucking care. Honestly, I really don't. Everything about, a lot of things about this show just makes me really angry. So, like, I can't, like, like this. Honestly, like, this is really stupid. I can't even say the fight scenes look good, because the fight scenes look okay. They look kind of mediocre. Dragon Ball Super has better looking fight scenes, but that's because that Japanese dude with the, the name I keep forgetting animates most of their fights and they look really beautiful. These look bad. These don't look bad. It's like you put a bunch of special effects together and then that's my friends. My friends are gonna kill me. Like the friends who like Super. Or Dragon Ball. Didn't you turn Super Saiyan Blue already? Alright, oh, whatever. And I'm just gonna go inside it and it's certainly not gonna just blow up. That's the meaning of the episode. Vito explodes it's because of that. He just blew up. And Sue's laughing because he's like, you guys are idiots. Why did you do that? We can make fires and have no more water. Thirsty. Because the show is putting me in a blinding white hot rage. And Cumber's just like, well, I'm, I'm injured now, I guess. That's a stupid fucking question. There's one thing about Dragon Ball that I really fucking hate, and it's the fact that there's no choreography during their actual fights. Like, it's just flailing. There's no choreography whatsoever. You don't actually see them doing cool-ass hits. No, it's just them fucking throwing their arms and legs around the wheel and hoping to get lucky and then proceeding to stop and for like two seconds and then shoot a blast or something that's the one thing i really hate about dragon ball and every show does this hold on my camera's gonna mess up and i'm not gonna see this every show does this the only one that didn't do that the only two that didn't do that was Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball GT. And GT has actual choreography, and before people tell me it doesn't, then watch the fight. Watch the actual fights in slow motion. They're choreographed, and they're good. The ones in Super are not. The ones in this show aren't. <laughs> the ones in Super are, are still better. They still have choreographed, and their choreography is still better than this, or whatever. Will Goku and Vegeta be alright? Why are you asking that question? That's a really dumb question. And Goosebag over here is not doing anything, he's just watching. I'm like, well, this is pretty cool, I guess. I also don't understand Fu's plan. There's a reason people can comment and tell me what his plan was and why this is not stupid, but whatever. He's throwing another. This is exactly what I mean. Flailing and then doing the blast. For no reason. Let me just fast forward 10 really? Fast forward another 10 sec- oh my god. Another 10 seconds, Jesus Christ, okay. Whatever, I guess. I'm gonna pretend that didn't just happen. This is why your episodes are being panned out for my reason. Consider it an honor that I'm gonna bury you with my own hands. Dude, who are you? You're a nobody.
because the show really wants to be canon, we're going to mention a burst and mix technique within Vegeta did in Dragon Ball Z. That's what we're going to call it, because we really want to be canon, you guys. His clothes just stretched with him for no reason, but alright. Even though it's clear that his clothes are made of fabric and not rubber, but whatever. Oh, no, whatever. Whatever. His, his, his clothes should not be ripping and he's stretching. And he's a golden ape, so he can turn Super Saiyan 4 anytime he wants. But let me guess, he's in control. He can't. I know the show really only just wanted to appeal to the DC band. And that's fine. But, like, when, when you give Super everything, and then make GT, like the GT fan, probably angry that they're looking at this. But oh wait guys, there's more. It gets stupider. sitting over here nutting in the background because he's like, yeah, the Saiyans are so fucking crazy. Oh my god, really? You wasted most of this up. Oh my god, dude. They're trying to hype up their fucking fighting game. So if you know them, they're never going to be able to play. Super Fill appears. Oh my god. Super Fu, are you fucking serious? And wasn't they, weren't they just on Fuse? Were they not just on Fuse? Fast forwarding a little bit, because this is fucking stupid, alright. Let's cut his tail off, because that should have been our first fucking priority, instead of just being stupid. Why did you, you, duh, no, no shit, obviously cut his friggin' tail off, idiot. Whoa, the earrings didn't work, gee, I wonder why. Really, what was that, what was that shot? I mean, we used animation, that's nice. He's fast because he's gold, okay? Golds are fast apparently. Like, what? I can do something? I got my sword! And he shouldn't have attacked him. If you really wanted to stop Kumba, you really should not have attacked him. Cause duh. You really should have just, Oh, well, I'm gonna go around in circles, go under... He won't be able to see me. Because he'll be, he'll be fighting the Saiyans, and I can just chop his tail off. But alright, we're not gonna do that, I guess. Dude, you wanted more, and then you decided, <laughs> I didn't tell you to go that far. I just, it's not like I was yelling more, more, more constantly. So whatever. Fucking inconsistent now. Goku's dead. My, go away! Why is she still here? Why didn't you turn Super Saiyan before? Why did you go Super Saiyan? 
Why didn't she just go blue? If you can lift out this void, why didn't, why didn't she just do that before? Because it still wants to turn out as much as possible. It's totally not like Vegito Blue didn't work. And you're gonna go up against him regular blue and and then he kind of him and expect it to do something. Oh god, here we go, more stuff. And that's a fucking other thing. If you're gonna make your main characters fight this dude and hype him up to be the big bad, you shouldn't have your antagonist kill him. In the third episode he appears. That is fucking stupid. Yeah, I'm so great, I cut his tail off. He didn't even try to stop you. I take back every nice thing I said about Combo. Combo sucks as a character because they wrote him bad. Okay, you guys can continue now that I've actually just downplayed the hell out of Combo and gave you guys the ultimate winning chance and screwed over my ace in the hole of getting more power or whatever, but whatever. whatever. What? what? Alright. I turned Super Saiyan God because we wanted, we don't have enough of that on screen. We needed Super Saiyan God instead of Super Saiyan Boy. I'm sorry for the people who actually like this shit, and I'm just sitting here making fun of it the entire fucking time because that's literally all you can do. Is make fun of this show because it's not good, it's just dumb fun. Now we're skipping the commercials, we're done with the commercials. The Mightiest Warrior, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, is stronger than Super Saiyan Blue, Kaido 10 times 20 Vegito, so go fuck yourself, anyone who really likes Dragon Ball Super. Like the people who are so, like, yeah, Dragon Ball Super is so great that Super Saiyan God can beat Super Saiyan Blue, even though I did the math. And the logic of the show says otherwise. And Cumber just kind of stomped him. Just cuz. <laughs> oh my god. How many more seconds is that going to take? Only a few? Okay, that's nice. What is food? Huh? Someone broke into your lab and wrecked all your, your, your equipment. I can't do this. I can't do my experiments like this. They broke all my stuff. That stuff was expensive. Really? You picked up that one thing so you can break it in your hand because you want to be dramatic. Goku thought, no, none of these characters can beat Cumber. 
because Cumber is a really stupid character. He's like an OC for a fan, for like a fan made OC that just kind of shows up in the show, and he's like, I'm immediately goes, I'm better than all of you, and here's X and Y reasons why I'm better than all of you. And you should just take that and accept it without asking any questions. Like, why does his aura do that to people? You're not you're gonna you're just gonna tell me that that's what it does. You're not gonna tell me why. Cause that's dumb. And these assholes show up like. We're the more serious versions of Goku and Vegeta. You, you, you thought Dragon Ball Super was cool? Well, do you guys remember Dragon Ball GT? Well, guess what? Super Saiyan 4 is better. And they literally say it here. They're two dads? Have you not been paying attention at all, Trug? That's another thing. This burger in the trunks is really fucking stupid. I guess we'll have to use these. I thought you hated fusion. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up. Also, okay, remember what I said about the god key? Apparently, this version of Goku does have god key. Like, Super Saiyan 4, Goku does in fact have god key. So, making these two unfused from w while they're in Vegito? While they're Vegito, they could, you could still do that. And it would make sense. I feel like this is one of those things they didn't want to add Gogeta because they were like, Oh, well, he's not canon right now, so I guess he can't be Gogeta. Or they were saving him for Broly or whatever, but like... Oh god, here we go with another 40 second beam struggle. Oh my god, I was kidding. Jeez. In Dragon Ball Z, the beam struggles do not last this long unless it's with a big bad, like, cell. Or if there are, like, huge stakes. There's no stakes here. more of this shit that we have. Fucking whole goddamn hour. And Fu's just stronger than them, I guess. No, he's not, because they have no scratch. Like, get wrecked. Finish this. Okay, it's Goku. Okay, because of course he is. Because they wanted to just talk in old things things by a second because they thought it would be fucking cool, but it's actually really fucking stupid. Like, 
Like, if these B characters have choreography, where was this when we were fighting with the super characters? What? That doesn't make any sense. Combo's just in the background, like, really? You guys steal my spotlight? Like, whatever. Like, why does Trunks look like, roided out? Like... can't hear it, but you probably can't hear it, but I'm breathing heavily because I'm annoyed. <laughs> Who the fuck? Oh my god. This entire series is a film animation or something, because, like, the writing is just really ridiculous. Oh boy, here we fucking go, this stupid shit. Okay. Alright, and let me guess, he just kinda shot it back because he's so fucking awesome or some shit, I guess. With my Ultra Instinct power, you know how stupid that is? Like, whoa, I have my Ultra Instinct, aren't I so friggin' awesome? That Goku's like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's like, I'm, I struck down the path with my Ultra Instinct power, guys. Aren't I so cool with my silver eyes and white hair for no reason? I'm so great. With Ultra Instinct. Dude, what is that? That sounds really dumb. When Shaggy did it, it was cool. When Goku did it, it looked really, really, it looks visually nice, but it looks, it, the way, it, okay. Now is the time, now is a good, perfect, now is the perfect time as any to talk about overpowered characters, and how stupid having your overpowered character, how in, be, your character be inconsistently overpowered is really, really dumb. So, um, this version of Goku is apparently be supposed to be so much fucking stronger than Super Saiyan 4 and all that crap and his Super Saiyan Blue BS, but, um, if I remember from the Tournament of Power, this bastard decided he was gonna shake the infinite universe, and he's not shaking this one, and this realm is apparently different from the infinite realm he was in when he was in the Tournament of Power. This one's different because it's confined to a cl crap. He's com confined to a 